What is up guys, AJ here. In this video, I'm gonna show you a few quick hacks to improve your wireless 4G network speeds. For this video, I'll be using the Huawei B525 uh, wireless router and I'll be on the Optus network. What I show you is gonna work on pretty much any router except for the network bands that you can select. We're gonna choose a 2300 hertz band, which only works on the Optus network. So if you're on Telstra, you'd have to choose the option for not 2300. You can pretty much use these hacks across any 4G wireless router. If you find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let me know what other content you wanna see. Cool, with that being said, let me show you how to do it. The first thing you wanna do is go into your router settings. In your internet address bar, it will be 192.168.8.1, and you're gonna to wanna to log into that. Next you wanna do is get into your settings. So drop in your username and password. The password for this router is the same as if you're gonna log into the Wi-Fi network just as a guest. You know, I've already populated mine, so I'm just gonna log in. Cool, easy. So the two settings we're gonna change, the first one is down into the system settings, and we're gonna drop down into the antenna settings. You're gonna change the antennas from auto to internal. So this will mean that it's no longer gonna be looking for different antennas and jumping between. It's gonna have a stronger connection, just the internal antennas. Of course, if you've bought separate antennas, you'd wanna go external, but majority of people don't. So change it from auto to internal, and that'll be the first trick. The second trick is going up into your dial-up settings and go down into network. And here you can change the preferences of the networks you select. So I'm gonna go from auto down to 4G, 2300 megahertz only. Like I said, because I'm on the Optus network, I can run on the 2300 megahertz only. If you were on, say, Telstra, for example, you would go 4G, no 2300. Cool? And it's, it is that simple. Now I'm gonna show you two speed tests, one that was done before the settings and one after. I'd also encourage you to watch my other video, 4G versus the MBN, to give you a comparison if you're looking at changing internet providers and you're not sure if you wanna go down the wireless 4G, 5G route, or if you wanna go with the MBN. Um, that might give you a bit of perspective into speed and pricing and, and all that sort of stuff. Cool, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let me know what other content you wanna see. Thanks, have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye.